So normally uh, one line diagrams are made on parameter representation basis so that the uh, everything is in a single line uh, in a transmission line as we, we have discussed about the power system supply that which we have uh, discussed in, in, the, in the previous class that the representation of a power supply was in a block diagram way. So that was a block diagram way. So another way is the representation of the same by the one line diagram or that is also called as the impedance diagram. So how to represent the or how to make a impedance diagram. How to make the impedance diagram? So first of all, the selection of the base voltage and volt ampere ratings are necessary. The first thing is First thing is the selection of the base voltage and Vn. The second thing which very much important that once you have selected the VA rating that is that will be the constant for both system. So the base VA will be same. Second, base VA will be same for the whole system. The third thing about the base voltage, the base voltage changes according to the transformer and if the transformer is coming then the new base will be equal to the old base multiplied by the line to line voltage of the transformer. So this was the thing for the base value VS VA will be same. So now coming to third point which is very much important since base VA is once you have selected the base voltage and uh, base uh, uh, VA rating then it will be same for the whole system no issues with that and one can do that but coming to the base voltage please understand this thing very clearly that base voltages are not same for the whole system. Once a transformer is coming in between, the base voltage changes according to the transformer and it is like the base voltage will be new, new base voltage will be or I can say that new VD will be equal to old VD multiplied by line to line voltage of transformer. This is a very important point in changing of a base from one base voltage to another base voltage that is new will be but when a transformer comes. This all thing this thing happens because of a transformer. This thing happens because of a transformer is coming in between the line. Suppose there is a generator, then the tie lines and a transformer is coming, then the load like this. So for the whole system as we have discussed in this, for whole system the VA will be same. From here to here the VA, will, VA rating will be same, there will not be any change. Since this is a generator, this is a transformer, this is a transformer line or I can say transmission line XL, it's a bigger XL. So don't get confused, trans X is trans for transmission, alpha line, the transmission line, this is this whole thing is a transmission line. So in a this is kind of a one line diagram which I have made right now. This is everything is in a single line and everything is in series right now. 
we can have another generator connected over here. This is also a single line diagram. So <clears throat> when I convert this thing into the reactances or in, we can say that impedance, so that will be a impedance diagram. So the impedance of everything is collectively written in a uh, or drawn in the same place and that is called the impedance diagram. We know the, all these things, not to go into them deeply. But the thing which is very much important here is that understanding of the change of base from one place to another. So here, when I am going from here to here, the generator base would be changed according to the SV but we have taken VA, the selected VA we have taken. So I will be finding VA, new VA or new Z per unit on this basis, for this, for this also. For this, here, the transformer ratio will come over here, suppose 1 is to n. So according to that, here VA rating, so here voltage rating would be the same the old base rating will be here and here. After the transformer, the base new will come. And again, if uh, another transformer is coming, so from here to here, we be new will come, and from here we be one new will come. So according to our transformer, our base voltage changes here. It was old, then it came to new, then. Now the new will become old for the same thing and if we be new, again a new VB1 will come after a transformer. So n number of transformers will be coming, so n number of VB will be coming, new VB will be coming. So <clears throat> that is the way uh, we are dis describing a impedance diagram over here. So we can have a question on the uh, selection of the basis on the new basis. So we can start with a, a smaller example in which uh, there is a three phase signal generator uh, giving a power. Uh, some voltage is given, the impedance of the line is given. So, so we have to determine the voltage of the line. The units. And in our volts also. The reference bases are already given in the question. So we can have the question now. So <clears throat> we can have an example. We understand this thing better. The example is like a three-phase synchronous generator delivers 10 MVA ten MVA at a voltage of 10.5 kilovolt. The line impedance is given as 5 ohm. The line impedance is given as 5 ohm. So we have to find that voltage drop in per unit. And in volts. So, so the reference base which we given in the use reference base as 12 MBA and 11 kilo volt. And 11 kilo. So, <clears throat> if we do this question directly, it 
it's very is easy that the SB rating SB is given and this is the voltage so we can find the current and from the current uh, and since the impedance is given 5 ohm so current into this will be the voltage drop in the line so that is very uh, very easy to understand we can do that in the way uh, the normal way which uh, we are doing uh, till now we can have that uh, we have that we can have the quick look on that so sb is given as 10 mva right now i am doing this question on without the base so i am forgetting about the reference bases anything nothing is there so sb is given as 10 mv and the voltage v v is given as sorry v is given as 10.5 kV kilovolt. So I can have the current. So since it's a three phase, so S will be equal to under root 3 into VL into IL. Okay. So IL will be coming as S is that is already given 10 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 10.5 into 10 to the power 3 into into under root of 3. So this would be the current IL line current that is coming as 549.86 amperes, 549.86 amperes. So I can have voltage drop. So voltage drop would be equals to IL into Z that is equals to IL is given as 549 into z is given as 5. So approximately this answer is coming as 2749.3 2749.3 amperes sorry volts. So we can write this answer that is 2749.3 volts. This is the voltage of which we are getting by a normal procedure which we can which we have done which, knew, which we know till now, till now. So, <clears throat> I can do this, the same problem on the reference base also, way also, how? Since SB is given as now, this is SB, this is SB and this is VB. So, I can have the per unit values of everything and that per unit value will be multiplied by something something and that will be giving me the answer the same way I will be doing on the per unit also. So I can have the V per unit right now. V per unit will be like the 10.5 divided by this is the base, this is the actual value of the voltage and the base value of VB is 11 kV. So this would be we will now we will not solve this thing, we will solve it. And I can have the S per unit also. The S per unit is the uh, actual value of the um, MVA rating is given as 10 MVA, that is 10 into 10 to the power 6 divided by it's given as 12 into 10 to the power 6, which is equal to 10 by 12. So I can have the Z per unit also and uh, sorry. Uh, S per unit also and V per unit also. So in the same way I can have I per unit also. I per unit would be SB upon VB or uh, I per unit will be SB per unit upon V per unit. S per unit is given as 10 into 12 multiplied by which everything will be coming over here into 11 by 10.5. So I can have the per unit value of the current as 0.873. So this will become I per unit will become as 0.873. This is the current. So again I can find the Z per unit now. Z per unit for this will be equal to the 5 Z ohm multiplied by SB upon B B square. So the Z on the Z per unit on the new base which will be 
12 MB and this one is 5 multiplied by SB is 12 and BB is 10.5 square. <coughs> Sorry, uh, this is 11. This is 11 now, not 10.5. This is the uh, base value which we will be choosing as 12 and 11. So, this would be coming as approximately as 0.4958. So this is as coming as 0.4958. So I can have I coordinate already came as I coordinate came as this 0.873.873 and right over here and omit this thing we coordinate I have to So and Z coordinate I have I got at 0.4958. So I can have voltage drop in coordinate side now, which will be equals to this multiplied by my 0.873, 0.4958 multiplied by 0.873, which is actually coming as 0 0.4329, 0 0.4329, almost. So that is in per unit, that is in per unit. So this is the per unit drop which I will be getting in the line. So I can have, I can convert this thing into my volt also which we have already discussed. But we will see whether this is coming equal to that or not. So this is 0 0.4973 in volts. So V in volts will be equal to 0.43. 29 multiplied by my actual value that is 11,000 kilovolts. That is 11. This is the base which I have chosen. So if I do this thing, if I solve this thing, this will be almost coming as 2749.3. 2749.3. Works. So we can see this thing that this this thing V volts from the procedure of reference base is also equivalent to the same thing which we got previously by the direct basis direct uh, way also. So these two ways which we have seen are the same. So the values which we are getting in units if we multiply by the base value will get the actual value. So we can see this thing that this is coming in points, this is coming in points, I coordinate was in points and Z coordinate was in points. So when uh, all these things are in points, the value which we will be getting in a very large system will be maximum by 10, 20, not more than that. So the value which we will be getting in more, not more than 10. So we can compute them by hand also. So there will not be any requirement of calculators. There will not be requirement of the PCs to calculate or to compute the, uh, the voltage ratings or to the uh, current ratings or to the KV ratings, anything. So since all the things, uh, all the values are very less, so we can compute them by manual, manual method also without any use of com uh, computers and calculators. So rather than choosing all the things in 10.5 kilovolts, then 11 kilovolts, 12 MBA, we can have uh, smaller values and we can compute them by manual method also. So computation is very much easy by by unit representation. So this is the way we are doing some per unit representation. We can have an Another example on the same uh, per unit representation. Uh, so we have to uh, do something over here, so which we have discussed in the in the impedance diagram. So this is the question on making of a impedance diagram. <coughs> it is example number four, I suppose. So this question was based on the 
fact of making impedance diagram or impedance diagram or the one line diagram is given to you you have to find the <coughs> uh, generated voltage of a generator suppose that there is a generator over here it is connected to a transmission line the full transmission line is given here and this is the 210 kilovolt bar is given and a load is given as RM as 500 ohm <coughs> this generator is there and this transmission line is actually connected by a transformer which is of 50 MBA and 15 this is of 50 MBA and 50 kilovolt to 220 volts and this generator is of 75 MBA and the voltage rating is 15 kilovolt again and the XG, the reactance of the generator reactance is given as 0.75 the XT, the transformer reactance or transformer reactance is given as 0.1 per unit the transmission line also is given as XL is equal to 100 ohm per phase so we have to de determine the generated voltage per phase we have to determine the generated voltage per phase so how to start with this question <coughs> 